Thank you for joining us for day three of our egg to chick adventure. Today is very exciting. Our eggs have been in our incubator and they continue to grow. This is what it would look like if you opened up an egg in the incubator. You probably can't see all the things that are happening because they're still microscopic, but super tiny inside, the wings are starting to form, the beaks are starting to form, and the eyes will be coming shortly. So we're gonna leave them alone and we're gonna talk about today, when you go to the store and your mom or, or your dad and you go to get some eggs, there's a couple different things that you should watch out for. So you've probably seen this. This is an egg carton and this is how they store the eggs in the store. And there's two different things that we're gonna talk about today that are regulated by the USDA. That stands for the United States Department of Agriculture. And they work in Washington, D.C. and all throughout the states to help keep our food sources and our animals and our plants healthy. So the USDA has two things that they like to watch for on all of our egg products. First is the grade and second is the size. So you'll see on this uh, egg case, it says it's a grade A egg and the size is large. So let's talk about what that means. So there's three different types of grades that the eggs might be. And it ranges from best to not so best. The first one is a grade double A. That means that the yolk, the yellow part, is firm and tall and it's a really good egg for baking. It also means that the albumin, which is the white part, is thick and wide and normally when you break open that egg it's going to be very circular. The grade A egg, which is what this carton was, is still a really good egg for baking. The yolk is firm and the albumin is right on track, it's oval, and it's, it's going to be fine for baking a cake or a scrambled eggs or anything like that. Your grade B egg, the yolk is going to be a little flatter and the albumin is not going to be as strong. So it might be a lot wider when you crack it open and it might be thin and watery. These eggs are not great for baking, um, but you can still use them for um, lots of other purposes, maybe like a hard boiled egg. That would be a great use for a grade B egg. They're still all very nutritious and very healthy. It's just that they work better for some uses versus another. All right, do you remember what our second thing was? That's right, it's the size of the egg. So they range from small to jumbo. Do you remember what this one was? It was a large egg. So that means that it was probably about two ounces in weight. Now, they all are the same nutritiously. It just depends on what your needs are when you're baking, cooking, um, you know, or maybe making Easter eggs. So they just like to, to use the size for another way to label our eggs. All right, now that you know all about day three, Stay tuned for day four.